in Flint, Michigan on April 24th, 2020. God damn! The niggas with the water and shit! One above the garage and the other was a ring doorbell camera. Around 10 p.m., a man in a red jacket and another person just behind him showed you walking up to the house's matching. front door. Match up. Before knocking or ringing the doorbell, the man in the jacket immediately starts trying oh, to break down the door. Why the fuck are you trying to... I would be like, that enough to my little friend! The ring camera falls to the ground from the impacts, but the door itself doesn't budge. After those few seconds, the man walks around to the house's side door and again immediately starts trying to break it down. By this point, the homeowner had woken up in a panic and was checking their camera's feed for an explanation. They noticed their doorbell camera on the ground, and so they switched over to their other camera. As the banging noise rang out throughout the house, they could now see what was causing it. Two niggas. Police were calling out to Get the bro. When they reviewed the he footage, they noted that one of the men was armed. Mm. What these two men planned to do with the people inside if they had successfully broken in is unknown. It's Probably unclear if they were ever identified by police. Damn ugly ass. Didn't even have a mask on. Couldn't have known nobody was This home. clip was captured at 3 in the morning on April 9th, 2023. Oh, she just got back from the It club. happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The homeowner was sleeping when the clip was recorded. It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found out about it. He reviewed the footage, horrified. That's a he? This is what he saw. A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. What the fuck? Bitch, what you doing at my goddamn door? Unless you gonna give me that kitty. Hold up. I'll open it for you. I got the keys, keys, keys. Hey, come in future. I've never no seen those big ass keys to the city before. open up a door for real. He said no that cat. she later started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. It's likely she was under the influence of something. Multiple times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera itself. 
After a few minutes, she walks off and was never seen on the property again. Her intentions are unknown. What the fuck? Walter Hickox is a homeowner in Daytona Beach. I wonder what the fuck be going His on. His home is set out in a wooded section. You know, the niggas' houses that don't got no In January home. of 2022, Walter was taking his three dogs out onto the porch. Oh, look at that! He was intently me. looking at something outside. The dogs suddenly start running to the left side of the camera. He's not a goddamn Walter realizes hair. they were looking at a black bear. Oh, hell The bear hell climbs no. over a protective railing as it goes for the dogs. Oh, that, that shit, y'all, that was a hot dog. Oh, that nigga beat his ass. Oh, he went on the... With barely any time to process what he was seeing, Walter lunges at the bear as it goes for his dogs. God dogs. damn. He manages hey, to push it back before he shoves dog. a nearby chair in the doorway, preventing it from attacking again. He yells out that he was attacked by a bear as he brings his dogs back inside. Oh, my God. I tried to attack my bear. You didn't get attacked. Oh the dogs God. did. But you wouldn't that, though. I was just scared. It all hit me, and I started bawling. <laughs> I couldn't believe how close to death I was, and I did it for my dog. Walter received minor injuries from the bear. His dogs didn't receive any injuries. This homeowner in Texas Damn. got a knock at their door for a DoorDash delivery around 1.20 in the morning. Only but the homeowner had an order that. DoorDash. She was sleeping. It was only her oh, and her yeah. nephew in the home at the time. She remembers waking up to a metal clinking sound, but didn't think much of it until she noticed damage to the outside of her house the next morning. This caused her to look oh, yeah, back you at know that bitch camping with the footage from the door Ain't no door dash in your that hard to get you your food. Them motherfuckers probably just ate your shit by goddamn time they get to your house. So them niggas is never trying that hard to get you your food. That's how you know that shit cap is fucked. This is how my goddamn neighbors be. No cap. Weird as fuck, bro. I might put me a camera up. Bro, shit. They trying to hit a lick on their ass. The first video isn't as concerning. A woman standing at the door claiming to be with a DoorDash from 1.20 a.m. to 2 a.m. This oh, yeah. could be written off as a determined delivery driver that unknowingly had the wrong address. Cat. It was the backyard footage that was genuinely concerning. At 2 a.m., Foreman got your into the backyard up. and tried to gain entry into the home through a window. It's likely they planned on entering through the front door by ambushing the person that opened it for the door dash delivery. Yeah. But when no one answered, that was not to no the backyard while the fake door dash deliverer stayed out front as a distraction. However, fortunately, the men would be unsuccessful and are shown running away from the house on the backyard camera. Oh, yeah, I'm sick of my dogs on their ass. Front door, Get them! Them. Leaving the area together in a dark colored sedan. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I'm just complex. kidding. See, my dogs stay crazy. Oh, God. You heard that bit back there? In June of 2019, multiple homes in Chicago got a visit from a man claiming to be an investigator known as Jeff Rushmore. The only problem All is right, that man doesn't exist. He was impersonating an investigator with the local police department, fully equipped with a fake uniform, a fake badge, and fake police that radio. That nigga check. ugly. Who the fuck does that this nigga This ring that camera caught him FBI. performing the act. That nigga look more like IBM. Can you open the door? Twenty-six, I got you out. No parking. You're taking my wallet to the DV. Bitch, I ain't do shit. Goddamn, get your little federal ass on somewhere. Thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty-one. Who the fuck wants their first name a cop? That's the least, that's the most hated niggas other than black people in the fucking country. Ugglass, he even got a radio. Everybody know FBI agents have that earpiece and shit. Like the niggas that be with the president. That's how I know you fake. The homeowner doesn't answer the door, yet the man stays in character, even faking a call back reporting the unresponsive homeowner. Another home in the area equipped with a ring doorbell camera shows the same man. This time the homeowner does open the door. Oh, he said fuck the camera, he don't even give a fuck. Mask off. Fucking mask off.
Hi, uh, sorry to bother you so late. Uh, I'm Rushmore with the Winfield Police Department. I'm an investigator. When your neighbor is down the street, reported a missing. The video cuts out there. The man explains a missing person case, and when the homeowner says he doesn't know anything about it, the interaction ends. The motives behind him impersonating an investigator are unknown. Often there are cases like this where the man is simply trying to get people to open their door thinking they're safe, but proceed to rob them, or sometimes worse. However, he doesn't do this. No one knows his motives. One commenter said, I honestly believe he was testing the waters, and as he felt more confident, he would have escalated from getting people to open their door to entering into people's homes to only God knows what next. According to recent documents, the man was never identified. Damn! They probably this video was captured in Kansas City. Damn, I had three, two, one, and get it! man on the left side of the screen and get it. on the guard rail. He was trying to stay out of frame as he attempted to take the ring camera off of the home. Swifty. Inside the home was a woman and her son. The man was the woman's ex-boyfriend. Ugly! He failed to Nigga, did you know that I can home. see you? He turned 30 no minutes cap, late. your ugly! This time Bold he had a chance to cover the camera. What the fuck does he want in here so bad? So, you return 30 minutes later with your mask and your mask is this? This nigga ugly! No cap! You had 30 minutes to get a fucking mask in the best thing later, you can think of was in the shirt. Her and her I her feel was on fire. Me ugly! Police and firefighters were called to the scene, but not before the fire destroyed their car and most of their home. Oh, Mary Ann, an expert in abusive relationships, responded with, Abusive relationships are about power and control, and when that power and control is taken away or it's minimized, then what we see is those efforts are escalated to try and get them back. Police are currently looking for the homeowner's ex-boyfriend seen in the video. This happened in April of 2023 in a wooded section of Asheville, oh. North Carolina. The homeowner Damn. of this house got a notification saying motion was detected in her front door. She opened the app on her phone and saw three bears on her front porch. They were tearing open a package this that had been Inside the package was dog food, which oh, they easily were able no. to smell. The homeowner opened her door and confronted the animals, trying to scare them off. Damn! That bitch crazy. Oh, do you see three big ass niggas on your porch and just want to open your door? You're tripping. If they're black, they attack. Take one of the two bags on, of food inside here. the package. Come on, go get, go get. Come on, come on, Nick. Got, got, the right side got, 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 He's seen crouched down, holding some kind of club in his hand, breathing heavily and sweating this profusely. Ugly, bro. He nervously looks back and forth from the street to back at the house's front door. The man clearly looks to be on something. When he realizes no one was going to answer the door, he walks away. Another minute passes when a voice yells out that the police are on their way.
It's unclear whose voice this is. Damn, you should have let that dog over his There are two possibilities here. Either this man was hiding from someone for one reason or another and he was trying to get inside a house so that he wouldn't be found, the voice being the person he was hiding from, or he was trying to bait the homeowner into opening the door where he then planned to do who knows what, the voice here being a concerned neighbor that saw what he was doing. Either way, the man most likely did not have the best intentions. Oh yeah, that's a W-ass neighbor. Like a good neighbor, stay form, bruh. That's a stay form ass nigga. I need you on my team. Okay. Damn, this shit, wow. If them niggas, damn, I think the wildest one had to have been the girl faking at the door dash and them niggas tried to, it was four of them. They were about to home invade they ass. No cap, time up and all, cause goddamn the backyard look fat, boy. That shit crazy. Hey, I love y'all. I hope y'all love me. We gonna be back tomorrow. I had a long weekend. But we're going to be back. I love y'all.